Hello and welcome to a new monthly segment from the Planetarium. Uh, this, this episode we're going to be talking about the 10 brightest objects in the sky. Uh, but before we do that, I want to explain how brightnesses of objects in the sky are actually measured. The system that they use to determine the brightness of stars is called apparent magnitude. Uh, the apparent magnitude of a, of a celestial object uh, is its brightness as seen from the Earth. And so it's, it's kind of a reverse logarithmic scale because it is the, the minus, the negative numbers, which are actually the brightest objects and it proceeds into uh, the positive numbers, which are actually the faintest numbers. So, for example, um, the, the brightest object in the sky, and this is probably not going to come as a great shock, uh, is the sun. The sun has a, an apparent magnitude of minus 26.7. Uh, so the next uh, brightest object in the sky is, of course, the moon, and it's relative, mag its apparent magnitude is minus 12.7. Uh, so as we go through here, um, there are some caveats. We're not talking about the, the brightest 10 objects in the sky overall, uh, but right now visible at say between 11 and 1 a.m. with the exception of two things, and that is the sun and the moon because they are, they're always up uh, at some point and of course, the sun sets uh, in, in the evening. So, uh, so the, the third brightest object is the planet Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter right now has a magnitude of minus 2.5. Uh, so it is the brightest planet visible in the sky at this particular time. So Venus is usually the brightest planet. Uh, it has a magnitude of around 4 point, uh, minus 4.4 um, at its brightest but Venus doesn't come up until at five uh, o'clock in the morning or thereabouts, uh, middle of the month. And that's kind of what we're shooting for. We're shooting for a middle of the month, uh, normally between about 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. That's kind of the cutoff time. So Jupiter is number three. Jupiter is the brightest planet uh, visible at this time. Uh, number four is another planet, and that is the planet Mars. Mars is actually getting brighter and brighter this month. And in fact, next month's uh, planetarium video is all about the Mars opposition, which occurs in, uh, occurs in October. So we'll be talking more about that um, as it reaches its brightest point. But right now, Mars is still quite bright. Uh, it, is, it has a, a, an apparent magnitude of minus 2.2, uh, and it's gonna to continue to get brighter um, throughout the month and throughout much of next month as well. Uh, so after Mars, uh, we have our first star. Normally the brightest star in the sky, well other than the sun, uh, is the star Sirius. Uh, but Sirius doesn't rise until about uh, four or five o'clock in the morning as well. It rises about the same time Venus does, uh, so it is beyond our cutoff point. So currently the brightest star we can see at this time, during our time frame, is the star Vega. Vega is a zero magnitude star. It is the standard for is a zero magnitude star. Um, and so if you want to know what a zero magnitude star looks like, simply look for Vega and you'll, you'll find the best example of a zero magnitude object. Um, in this case, uh, a star. Vega is a blue-white star and if you look between around 11 uh, to, to midnight in the sky, middle of the month, you will find Vega about halfway up in the western sky, part of the summer triangle. Um, and we're gonna talk about one more star in the summer triangle as well, um, coming up very soon. But the next two objects, uh, the brightest object number six and seven are both yellow. Uh, the first is the star Capella. Capella is in the constellation of Auriga, the charioteer. And Capella can be found rising in the northeast at around 1 a.m. So if you go out at 1 in the morning, 
look in the northeast, it will be low in the sky. It's going to appear as a bright yellow star. Uh, Capella, is, its, its magnitude is 0 0.05, so it is also very close to that zero magnitude uh, reference point. Now, the seventh brightest object in the sky is the planet Saturn, the ringed planet. Um, it looks very similar to Capella, um, but it's not as bright. Usually the planets are brighter than the stars, but right now uh, Saturn is actually dimmer than the star Capella, but it will look very similar in color. Um, this, uh, Saturn's magnitude is going to be 0 0.4, so 0 0.4 magnitude uh, on the plus side. Um, so if you want to find Saturn, you'll need to look low in the south, southwest, and it will be near Jupiter, which will also be in the south, southwest. They're actually getting uh, uh, fairly close right now. Now the eighth brightest object is that other star in the summer triangle that, uh, that I just referred to uh, when talking about Vega. It is the star Altair, which is a white, blue-white star, and its magnitude is 0 0.7. Uh, so it's still, it's a little over the zero magnitude point, but not quite magnitude plus one. Uh, so if you go out and look for Altair, uh, it will be in the, uh, it'll be about halfway up in the southwestern sky at around uh, midnight 1 a.m. Now the ninth brightest object, and we're getting close to the end here, uh, is a red star. Uh, the first red object we will have talked about, uh, it is the star Aldebaran in Taurus the Bull, which comes up around 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, its, its apparent magnitude is 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8. So it is very close to a first magnitude star, um, but you really can't miss it. If you go out uh, one o'clock in the morning and you look in the east, it will be uh, quite low in the sky um, between about 1 and 1.30 in, in the morning, but you will see it. Um, it rises around the same time Capella comes up in the northeastern part of the sky. Uh, finally, uh, the last Tenth brightest object in the sky at this particular time is the star Fomalhaut. Fomalhaut is in the constellation of Pisces Austrinus, the southern fish. Uh, it is going to be the only bright star in the south. If you look low in the south, um, at around midnight, 1 a.m., um, it will be directly almost due south. It will be low in the sky, uh, but will be quite visible. It will be a fairly bright star almost all by itself because there are no other even close to bright stars uh, like Fomalhaut in that entire uh, area of the sky. So if you look below in the south uh, around one o'clock or so um, you will see Fomalhaut uh, glowing brightly uh, compared to all other stars in that in that general direction. All right, so that is the ten brightest objects. You've got the Sun, you've got the Moon, You've got Jupiter, the planet Mars, the bright star Vega, the yellow star Capella, the yellow planet Saturn. You've got Altair in the Summer Triangle along with Vega. You've got uh, Aldebaran and Fomalt. That's it. Those are the 10 brightest objects you can see right now in the sky. Uh, and as I said, next month, we're going to be talking about the opposition of Mars. So thank you for, for tuning in and come right back here again next month at about the same time.